Now this is the common version for sissy men, manginas, effeminate women, and other people like children that were nowhere near ready to accept the true truth of the Spirit of God in its intensity. A God that allows little kids to fall off a balcony and die. A God that is so determined and so intense and a God that would be described as fanatical to a bunch of godless scum. You are nowhere near ready for his true spirit. Nowhere near mature enough to understand what true judgment is. And nowhere near close enough to God to apply true judgment. Unprincipled cowards as leaders. I refuse to live in a society where unprincipled cowards, non-martial artists, non-sun temple, pure masculine spirit, mind you, non-martial artists, tell warriors what to do. Now think about it. Should slugs and cowards tell great men, lion-hearted men, what to do? Should they get the best of women? Should the top martial artist who has maintained righteous indignation in spirit for generations before he was born into this world, for example, symbolically and otherwise, be told what to do by Mr. Burns types old money bitches and their network? Should he lose even a single woman to them? Should he ever be turned down by them or their servants when their own Bible in a predominantly Christian country says no servant can be greater? No. Certainly, the people who are telling women what to think are wrong. Women are just as wrong. They cannot be greater for following suit. Talk about suitor. Talk about waste and wasted, right? The waste of an Ebert. The waste of a fat idiot. The waste of a, a cute little slut who forged it the wrong way. Any waste of someone who is not forging a martial arts temple for God to be in worship or worship and pay homage to the home age, a time when martial artists ruled the world in the true spirit of God. No, every woman that ever rejected me should be punished severely. And when I consider that every attractive woman on the planet would reject me, I know that they are all better off dead. You are better off not having been born or having been raped and killed and your whole family killed than for you to have rejected a man of God, who is the Pharaoh. No woman should have the right to reject me. You'll see a lot of bitch-ass cowards making arguments to the contrary. Should the son of two doctors, who's the top martial artist, who emer emerged as uncontrolled opposition and paid the price, when it comes to these key issues, be con contradicted by people with an inferior argument who ignore his key points and use controlled opposition, corporate-sponsored propaganda, when they use Royal Institutes of Science, right? Royal Institutes of Science, right? The governing class starts that institute. They, they guide it along the whole way, and they say, this is why we're going to fund your study. These are the principles, the precepts, the ideas we want you to never contradict. You are an idiot if you don't see it that way. Should people who don't see it that way even have a say? If you don't even know why scientists are saying what they're saying, if you don't even know that they aren't men of honor when they're in the news, how could you be qualified to make a judgment call? Nobody is qualified to make that call but the top martial artist, which is me. No one should be allowed to overrule me. Not the entire world together. They can be allowed to advise me. Let's look at this from a very basic point of view. If the entire world are lying cowards and criminals, which I claim and I know that they are, other than myself, mind you, should they be able to contradict the one righteous man? An argument can be made that humanity should be able to make that choice for themselves. I say nonsense. I say nonsense. Let's apply that to your daughter. Say you have a daughter you love so much that you would die for. If the entire world but one man and you voted that she should be the sex slave to any man at any time, should you do it what they say because the entire world voted for it or should you listen to that one righteous man? This is not being a brain surgeon's namesake here. This is not being the son of two doctors with superior DNA. 
This is not being the top martial artist with a heart that is greater than everyone else's put together because even together in their groups, they could not do the right thing I did. This is very basic common sense. You need to remove your false egos, see yourselves for the cowards that you are, and give me total control. Only a man in the spirit of righteousness will not be corrupted by absolute by, by what humans might call absolute power. Only someone with true martial arts discipline. Absolute power also corrupts groups of people. When you come together in your selfish worldly spirit as you always have, capitalism is just another word for selfishness. If it is not accompanied by a monarchy with the top martial artist with his moral code intact. Not an un, so what we see is an unnatural, not spiritual, nonsensical, very not progressive, uh, cowardly system where cowards have the best women and jobs. Do any of you defy them as uncontrolled opposition? No, you do not. They are out of order. And I have no suitable helper. The Holy Spirit is wasted and so is humanity. If everybody voted to get rid of all the water, to poison all the water and get rid of all the food and we all starve to death, should that be humanity's direction? How much more when it, when it comes to the bread of God that only I can sense? Yes, the story of Pharaoh is very much like the story of God. One could argue that Symbolically, I am God. Symbolically, mind you. And you all have the option to defy me, but it is going to cost you one day very dearly. And you all chose to do just that so you can make your families, your races, etc. look good. It reminds me of moral relativism, right? Moral, moral, right? Moral relativism. Moral relatives, right? You believe that your relatives are more like God and you will never give a man his credit, especially if he's from the most disenfranchised race where you expected the Messiah to rise, just like Jared Gahoover in Coento Pro. He said, we must prevent the rise of a black Messiah. Not a Native American one, not an Asian one, not a white one. Who are we afraid of? It is a black Messiah because the Sun Temple of Ra found no home in Europe. He found no home in Asia, the Middle East, or anywhere else. Only in the heart of Africa, the seat of intelligence, did he find a home in one village, which became the main center for Igbos until the worldly scum took over. The most logical point would be during colonialism, the most logical turning point. When Ari no longer had a fair chance to influence the other Igbos, but he had to side with the church and lower his standard to survive. Either you stay on the path or you start building away from it. And sooner or later, you will lose sight of the path completely. Not only are you not on it, but you have lost sight of it. And this is humanity's problem. They have bred away from the path that leads them to righteousness. So I tell you the truth. Did I start off by saying I refuse to live in a society that doesn't do everything God's saying? No, that is the truth as well. But I didn't start off that way. I start off by saying unprincipled cowards as leaders. Because even if there was not a God, and I do not believe for a moment that that's the case, we are all better off dead than led by these cowards. We are all better off fighting to the death than being led by those cowards. I pity the man who has an attractive daughter. You are an idiot. You have given them a very a key ingredient to build their satanic world. I pity the man who has a scientist as a son, a successful and well-renowned one. You have given them a key ingredient. It is like alchemy. What happens when righteous indignation comes into contact with a world that is in rebellion? They, you know, the, the spirit of righteous indignation intensely digs in the nation, indignation, to find receptivity. And he cannot because you have bread to be slugs. And I am looking for angels, people who can transform with wings. You are not even caterpillars. You are slugs. And you were supposed to be trained by hawks, trained to be like hawks, to set your sights 
on the idea of being a hawk with sacred morality and grace, no treachery. Again, the Holy Spirit in regards to humans is wasted at this point on. They've wasted their opportunity and thus they have wasted themselves. Again, I tell you, I refuse to live in a society, whether there is a God or not, and I know that there is, where unprincipled cowards, non-martial artists, non-sun temple, pure masculine non-martial artists. So they are not in the pure masculine spirit, not in the sun temple spirit. If you don't get that from what I am saying, you must be a bitch. Why should bitches tell the greatest and the most virtuous and righteous of men what to do? Even in their own gender-neutral Western society, ver means man, virtue. You have to be in the pure masculine spirit. The woman has to accept it from a man. She cannot get it herself. The lesbian cannot be virtuous. Anyone who accepts a feminine spirit cannot be virtuous. And these bitches should never, not even for a moment, Tell a true man of honor and virtue, the top martial artist, the most virtuous man alive, the most righteous man on the planet, the greatest man, the most masculine man on the planet, what to do, not for a moment.